Hey everybody, welcome to three fun ways to build physical intimacy. Let's get playful. Now, if the idea of this seems a little bit scary for you, just listen to the ideas. See what's coming up inside of you. And I'll give you some tips at the end to really help you through this so you can navigate and really increase your physical intimacy. But first, let's run the show reel. <laughs> you can't feel too much. So one of the first steps to building physical intimacy is to understanding what you and your partner want and need. Isn't it great to be able to teach somebody what you like, how you like it, in a really safe and nurturing environment without the expectation necessarily of sex, but just to explore what, how do you like to be touched, how hard, how light, where. There's this beautiful game called the three minute game. You can find it on bettymartin.org and it really talks about how to set your own boundaries with your partner. And what it is, is it's a fun and playful way that you can ask your partner, here's how I want to be touched. And you actually tell them, you can put boundaries on it, right? Just, just arms or just back or just legs. It doesn't have to be anything sexual but you can start playing with it and really starting to learn how to express your needs. I want you to rub my arm lightly. I want you to rub my neck more deeply. I'd like now for you to move down to my back. And you start to practice the skill of asking for what you want when you're not under a lot of pressure perhaps to perform or feeling like you're supposed to be getting to orgasm or any of those things, right? You start teaching each other what you want and like. The second part of the game is they get to touch you in those same boundaries that you've preset on the game, how they want to try to derive their own pleasure. So in other words, maybe it feels really good for your partner to rub their cheek on your hand and they might take your hand and rub their cheek on your hand. And if they're doing something you don't like, you get to say, go ahead and pause. I don't like that and you actually learn how to communicate really clearly with each other without taking no so dramatically because it's all about finding the best pleasure that you can. So be playful with this. Look it up. Once again, bettymartin.org. I'll drop the link down below. Number two, blindfolded food testing. So this can be fun. Grab some of your favorite fruits, some of your favorite chocolates, whatever it is, wine, champagne, mimosas, apple juice, grape juice, but start playing with testing food. So you blindfold, one person gets blindfolded and the other person feeds them the food that they desire. And part of this is not only just allowing yourself to receive, but it's also feeling the sensuality, the allowing of being given to by your partner without any expectation. And as you taste the food on your tongue, really enjoy it, feel the texture. Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it smooth? Is it tart? What is it like? And you really start opening up your body senses, which starts opening up all your ability to feel and experience pleasure in different ways, which then will lead to more physical intimacy later on when you're actually in the bedroom. Some people take this to the next level and they'll actually put food on their body and then their partner blindfolded will try to find the food. So you can amp it up a level if that's something that feels really fun and playful for you, but make it your own. And really, once again, you're communicating with your partner. What do you like? What am I doing? Right? So this is all about play, no expectation. There's no doing it right. There's no doing it wrong. It's just about being present, playful, and opening up your senses and opening up your skills of clear communication with physical touch. Number three, you can call this like a directed sensuality exercise. So it's kind of similar to the three minute game, but it's really, really different in the same way. So basically you're gonna choose a time limit and one person is gonna lay down on the bed or on the floor or wherever it's comfortable. And the other person is going to touch them sensually with their hands perhaps with a feather, perhaps with um, like a cold or a warm stone. You can use oils. And once again, just like the three minute game, you're asking your partner, you're teaching them what you like, you're directing them. 
So you can do full body, you can do erogenous zones, you can choose to teach er keep erogenous zones out if you're looking at really just enhancing your um, non-sexual pleasure. And it's a little bit more broad of a game because now you're unclothed, now you're really giving in for a longer period of time. And part of this is to really sink in, have some candles, have some music, have whatever feels good for you, make sure that you're warm, really set up the atmosphere, right? And you can set boundaries ahead of time. Where is this going to lead? Where's the boundary of this is if, where this is going to lead? So in other words, if you choose that you're gonna do these exercises and not choose to have sex afterwards, honor that boundary because then you can create a clear expectation. You can build the anticipation. Once the exercise is completely done, then you can make the decision, right? But it's fun sometimes just to feel what is it like to not have any expectation of moving forward, but just be present with each other, just be present with each other's bodies, with your wants, with your needs, with your desires, and immerse yourself into that. Once again, you're being playful. So before you set this area up, walk around the house, grab some things that might be fun. But overall, be curious, be respectful of your partner. Keep asking them what they want. And if they're asking you to do something that hurts you, um, like in other words, you're doing massage, but it's bothering your wrists or you're trying to rub their neck and your hands are sore, you also get to say that, right? You can say, this is uncomfortable for me what would you like instead? Or may I do this for you instead? Or may I try it this way? So you're really developing the skills of clear, honest communication and being really fun and being really playful with absolutely zero expectations. So tell me in the comments how this goes for you. And if this starts bringing up fear because you're not accustomed to communicating clearly with your partner, you're a little bit worried about what they might think if you bring up the idea, you're worried about what they might say or what are you gonna do or how are you gonna do this? Start slow, do 30 seconds, do a minute instead of three minutes in the three minute game. Just really allow yourself to start opening up the idea and know that if your partner says, no, it's not about you, they might be just as scared. And this is an opportunity to communicate and deepen your relationship through actual emotional intimacy as well, right? Because it's not just about physical intimacy. It's about emotional, spiritual, intellectual. There's all kinds of intimacy that you can bring into your relationship. So know that you are loved, you are lovable, and you are loving. Bring that to yourself to this play and to your relationship. Subscribe, I've got more comments coming up. And if you're interested, I've got a class about coming to path to passion coming up. So check in the links below for that. If you want even more ways to clear those blocks, those fears to becoming more intimate with the people that you care about. Be well.